Want to become an e-commerce beast and grow your store revenue? You are in the right place because in this video, I'll show you exactly how to create and activate Klaviyo signup forms so you can grow your email and SMS list and crush it this year. My name is Casey and I run Luck & Co Agency, where we help seven and eight figure e-commerce stores maximize their email and SMS revenue. On this channel, I share free tutorials and best tips for e-commerce. Your support in the form of likes and comments makes this content possible. So please leave your favorite emoji in the comments right now. Here's a quick overview. I'm going to show you how to connect your Klaviyo signup form to Shopify. Once it's connected, we'll go through the signup form builder and I'll teach you step-by-step -step how to create your form, publish it, and check on results. Now, let's get started. The first thing we wanna do is grant Clevio the permission to display pop-ups on your Shopify site. To do that, we need to install the Clevio snippet in Shopify. If you've already integrated Shopify with Clevio, chances are you're already good to go. So let's check that first. Go to integrations on the left and you should see Shopify in the list of enabled integrations. If you don't, then find it among the list of all available integrations and complete the process. It's self-guided and should only take a minute or two. If you do see the Shopify integration enabled, click on it and make sure that the checkbox at the top under store URL is checked. If it was unchecked, you need to click update settings at the bottom to save your changes. For now, we're assuming that the Klaviyo form snippet is automatically added to your Shopify as part of this integration, but we will double check this at the end. Now on to the most fun part, building your pop-up and making it look dazzling, but even more importantly, making it convert really well. An effective pop-up can have a huge impact on your business. An average website pop-up converts at 3.5%. Our pop-ups typically convert at eight to 10%. This means that your email list can grow three times faster and all other things being equal, your welcome email automation has the potential to bring three times more revenue with a higher performing pop-up. So let's create that higher performing pop-up together. Let's go back to the signup form section in Clavio and click create signup form. If it's the first ever pop-up in your Klaviyo account, the user experience is slightly different and Klaviyo is actually giving you fewer options, probably to make your experience easier. So over here, let's just choose which list we wanna add your new subscribers to and then scroll all the way to the bottom and click open in editor. Now, this is a more familiar pop-up builder and if this wasn't the first pop-up in your account, you probably got here right away without the first step. We're going to get to the fun stuff, design and copy in just a few minutes, but before that, let's take care of the behavior settings, which are just as important. Pop quiz. Do we wanna show the pop-up immediately or after a delay? If you've answered after a delay, you're right. That's because we want to make sure that both our website visitors and Google are happy. If you show a pop-up right away, Google is more likely to see your website as spam. And your viewers won't like that either since they haven't even had a chance to look around. So let's check all of the options below, making sure that the pop-up is shown when someone displays exit behavior, five to seven seconds after page load and after scrolling 50% of the page. We check all three just to cover our bases, but you can also just check the first or the second option. For the display frequency, it really depends on your product, but we like to make sure that people who've seen the form don't see it again for another 15 to 30 days. Otherwise, they'd get pretty annoyed. Devices. We usually create a separate pop-up for mobile and desktop so that website visitors get the best possible experience depending on the device they're on. For this video, let's do a desktop version. The main difference in the mobile version is usually the design. We make it more vertical to match the format of the mobile screen. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see the targeting section. We want to make sure that the existing subscribers don't see the form because why would they need to, right? So we're going to check the box that says don't show to existing Klaviyo profiles. We also don't want to show this pop-up to people who are about to buy a product so that we don't interrupt their experience and let them check out. Let's check the box that says don't show on certain URLs and then write forward slash cart in there. And if, for example, you only ship within the US or Canada or wherever you're based, you can limit showing the pop-up only to people who are in that geographic area. For now, let's pretend that we ship worldwide and we'll keep these boxes unchecked. Now that we're done with behaviors, let's go to blocks and let the fun begin. For this video, we're going to make sure we have five things. Text, 
an image, an email input field, a phone number input field, and the button. Let's start with text. We're going to write something short and simple, like get 10% off your first order. Note that pop-ups with an offer convert five times better than pop-ups without it. Even if you don't offer discounts, emphasize bundle savings or something like that, because it will really help that pop-up convert. Next, let's talk about images. We usually put the image in the background of the pop-up. It looks more modern and enticing that way. We can set the pop-up background in the Styles tab. It should be an image that encompasses your whole brand and has a lot of space for text and fields, like the example that you see on the screen. If you're looking for something simple, go to unsplash.com and find a photo that would work well as a background. That means that it shouldn't have any objects that would compete with text. I found this photo of the sunset sky and I will use it. Pro tip, keep in mind that your image needs to be compressed and optimized for the lightest size possible so that it loads without issues for all users. While you're in the styles tab, make your pop-up medium a large size. In our experience, those tend to convert higher. There are also lots of other design settings here that will help you make your pop-up look exactly the way you want it to. When you're done with styles, let's go back to blocks. The email field is already on our pop-up, so let's click on it. You can change the placeholder text to something a bit more playful, like your best email address or anything else that fits with your brand. Next, let's put in the phone number field. In 2021 and beyond, SMS marketing is not a nice to have channel anymore. It's a pivotal tool that drives incredible subscriber engagement and revenue. If you're not sure how to do SMS marketing, make sure to subscribe to this channel because we have multiple videos coming out about it very soon. Once you add the phone number field, you'll notice that Clivio automatically gives you this tiny text here. You can remove it, but then you'll be dealing with some legal issues, so just keep it in. You want to make sure that you link to your privacy policy and terms of service on your website. Finally, let's fix the button. Something like I'm in or get my 10% off is much more conversational and conversion focused. When you click on the button, you'll be able to verify which list people get subscribed to and what shows up after someone submits the form. The easiest thing to do here is to show a success message. I recommend changing the copy to something more encouraging like, yay, you're in, and then direct the viewer to their inbox so that they open that first welcome email from you. You have a welcome email automation, right? If you need help with your welcome series, check out the video that's showing up in the corner right now. Let's go back to the button and change the color to fit our branding. If you wanna be fancy, you can also add a hover color. We're very close to being done here. Let's check everything. Do you like how this pop-up looks? Is it as succinct as possible? If the answers are yes, let's click publish. There are only two things left. First, let's exit out of the pop-up and double check that your Clavio snippet is in your Shopify website. To do that, click on the button that says install code snippet. Go to step two, verify installation, type in your store URL and click check my install. If you see a green box, you're all good. If you don't, follow the instructions in the red box to finalize your snippet installation. Now, the second thing. We promised a coupon code in our pop-up, so we need to make sure we deliver that. You can easily create a coupon code in Clavio. Just go to coupons on the left and then click create Shopify coupon. What this is going to do is create a unique coupon code for everyone who goes through your welcome flow. It will create those unique codes through Shopify. So if you wanna be able to tell them apart in Shopify later, then add a prefix that you will recognize like WE dash for welcome as an example. Let's choose percentage off since our welcome offer is 10% off. And then I'm keeping all of the other options as is because it's exactly what I need, but make sure that you double check this for yourself. The activation should be at the same time since we're using this coupon for the welcome flow. We like to set the expiration based on how long the welcome flow lasts, so that's usually about seven days. Now you're all done, so let's click create coupon. Ta-da, we did it, high five friend. The final check is to go to your website, simulate the exit intent or dwell on your page for five seconds, and then make sure that the pop-up shows up. Then go to your pop-ups, duplicate this one, change the design to be more vertical and fit the mobile format, and set the device display behavior to only include mobile. Now go back to your website and check the pop-up on mobile. To check the analytics of your form, go back to the signup forms on the left, 
click through to the pop-up you're interested in, and then watch the analytics for the last 30 days right on the screen. Remember that your pop-up submit rate should be at least 3% and you should aim for 8 to 10%. If you're feeling confident with pop-ups, I encourage you to explore Klaviyo's two-step pop-ups, where in step one, you collect the email address and in step two, you collect the phone number or other customer data. It is a newer feature, but it's a really exciting one. When we present only one field at a time, email first, phone number second, it usually corresponds with higher form completion rate. So definitely check it out. That's it for today's video. If you've made it all the way to the end, you are an absolute beast, go crush it. Please leave a comment under this video so I can send some positive e-commerce success vibes your way. Thank you for watching, you're awesome, and I hope to see you in the next one. Ciao.